It's week one of the NFL, and there's no love lost between these NFC South foes. It's the Panthers and the Saints, and it's all up next. From a city that has hosted 10 Super Bowls, here's a look inside the Caesars Superdome in New Orleans. Today, our new season begins with an NFC South matchup, as it'll be the Carolina Panthers taking on the New Orleans Saints. With my good friend Charles Davis in the booth, I'm Brandon Gauden, and the moment has finally arrived, CD. It's time to begin a new NFL season. Partner, there's no hiding my excitement as I got ready this morning. I could not wait to get here for this game. Imagine what it's like out there on the field for those players, though. OTAs, training camp, preseason, has all led to this moment when they officially kicked this one off to get the season underway. Two teams more than ready to get this one started. And we are underway from the Superdome. From his end zone, here's Rashid Shaheed. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. And here come the Saints for their opening drive. They're led out by their quarterback out of Fresno State, Derek Carr. Every time he leads his team out, there's no questioning. He's put the work in to earn his place in the NFL. There's no shortage of stories we've heard throughout his career about the effort he puts in to be in this spot. And that motivates everybody on his team. They begin on the ground with Kamara. And a short pickup to about the 27. It'll be second down. And they'll come up on a second and seven from the 27. Here's Carr. It gets this complete to Shahid. So the completion good for seven there. And they'll be faced with a third and inches. Well, partner, that's the start that you want right there. And you know he spent the entire offseason throwing hundreds, I'd probably say thousands of passes, getting ready for that moment. The first throw of the new season. He's dreamed about it, thought about it, and now it's out of the way. Now one for one, a lot more to go. And they'll let their fullback try and push the pile. And this will wind up a Saints first down as the tackle made it about the 43-yard line. Third and inches, just turn around and hand it to the big guy and let him plow forward and pick up a first down. A lot of people think that the offensive line, they may almost take the play off because they got a big guy back there pushing forward. I think it actually works in reverse. I think they block harder because they love seeing that guy get the ball because he doesn't touch it very often. Now a first down carry, it's Kamara. He'll work his way up the middle for a gain of about four, second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. From the 46, here's second and six. Carr. He gets it complete to A.T. Perry. That one, a first down pickup of eight. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 46. They'll pound it up the middle with Camaro. And a pretty big hole as he's down to about the 40. 
And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. Well, just the last thing you want to see here in the first quarter of a new season. Hopefully nothing serious. We'll step aside for a moment. They'll come up on a second and four now from the 40-yard line. Now Carr. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. This will be the eighth play of the drive here. Third and four. They're going to run with Taysom Hill. Oh, that one well designed as he'll take this down to the 30-yard line. Ten yards, good for his Saints first down. Watching that run takes me back to something a famous old coach once said. Any player he wants on his team, he wants him to be agile, mobile and most definitely hostile. First and ten and they've got three tight ends out there a jumbo package look. To throw his car. That one complete to Hill. Touchdown New Orleans. Taysom Hill. The Saints are on the board here first in the season opener. A long opening drive, but a very successful opening drive. We call that methodical, I guess, when it takes that many plays. Methodical and almost like a boxing match where you're hitting them with body blows. They can withstand them here. Look, they gave up the touchdown, but you don't feel like a knockout is there. But they keep doing that in the fourth quarter. That's when the knockout occurs. And yeah, it becomes tough for that defense if they're on the field that long. We'll see if they can continue that in future drives. Groupie able to add the PAT. And that makes the score 7-0. The ball upright on the tee, and the Saints kick team booms it away. Hardman will elect not to bring this out, and the football will be on the 25-yard line. So here are the Panthers now for their opening drive. And they will be led out by their second-year quarterback. And there's a word that constantly gets thrown around with this guy when you talk to anyone in the building. Potential. They are sky high on what they believe he can grow into in the role of a starting quarterback. In addition, they're plenty around the league. Well, in years from now, he can still be leading this offense out. Young looks to throw on first down. And the Saints pressure gets him. Brought down for a sack. Wreaking havoc was Nathan Shepard, the D tackle. It may be cliche, but it is something that holds up over time, doesn't it? If you're the visitors, you don't want to let the crowd in the game early. Yeah, and that's exactly what they did there. But you said also this defense, they're going to give them a lot of looks like we just saw there, aren't they? They certainly are. They're a proud unit, and they're going to ride the momentum of this crowd with them. And that's why they got after them early. So just three yards on the completion there. And it's going to be third down and a ways to go here. Third and 14. They need a crafty play call here. 14 yards is what they need to try to convert this thing. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Now the pressure comes and he goes down. Just inside the 10, back at the 9. No surprise there, Chase Young wrecks that play with a sack. 
So now make that a second sack for them on this drive. And Brandon, we hear it every week when we go out to do a game. Everyone talks about playing complimentary football. Their offense goes down and scores. They see that, and they want to back them up, and that they did, getting two sacks on this first drive. Here's Johnny Hacker now, as his first punt will come from inside his own end zone. That's taken at around the 40. Runs through the contact. It's a 47-yard punt, but they did give up 10 on the return. And this offense will take over right at the midfield stripe with a first and 10. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. Kamara up the middle, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Uh, that's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that, got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Car going to throw. There's Chris Olave. And he'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. That one good for 26 and a first down. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass on the first drive. and comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. Really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations. Ball hardly hit the ground, and I thought, yeah, he might be locked in for this one. Now it's the veteran Jamal Williams. And he'll get it down inside the 20 to the 18-yard line. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Pretty effective run there, and now they can start to smell that end zone. Pound the rock. Make sure you use your O-line to set the tone of dominance and physicality, and pound the rock. Now second and three. They run it again with Williams. And they got it inside the 10 at the 8. It's a 10-yard gain there to set him up first and goal. Nothing too fancy, just a carry up the middle, but a successful carry up the middle against this 3-4 defense. And to be able to do that, what do you have to control? The nose guard, right? Got to be able to move him. Otherwise, you're not getting anything up the middle. Nice job by the center. Got a little help from one of his friends playing guard. Try to pound it in, Kamara. A solid move on the run, but ultimately stopped short of the goal line. Down at the two. Five yards, a good run there, and now second and goal. That's good hard running right there on first and goal. That gets them down to the two and puts a lot more pressure on that defense. From the two now, second and goal. On play action, now Carr. They'll roll him out right. And he will not get away. He sacked back around the three-yard line. Shaq Thompson making his presence felt on the sack. When you're this close to the goal line, you've got to expect pressure from the defense. So the ball's got to come out fast. Got to get out of his hands quicker.
Maybe the first big test of the season here on both sides. This is third and goal. Now with the play clock down to two, we're going to get a timeout here. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. And they'll turn to the power game to try to get in. And he'll get him a bit closer as he's down to the two-yard line. Only a yard there, so it brings up fourth and goal. Well, there was a trust factor in that call, turning and handing it to the big man in the backfield, trying to pick up the first down. But how about the defense? They were ready for him, and they were able to stop him. So Carr departs, and on is Blake Groupie for the Saints field goal. This is less than an extra point, just a 19-yard attempt. And his kick is right there. It's good. So another scoring drive there, Charles, and an early two-score lead. You'd like the six there, partner, but you'll take the three, and I think they have to be happy about the way they moved the ball in these first two drives. They have to feel good about their opportunities the rest of the game. So after the made field goal, 10-0 here early as the kick's away. And Hardman going to go ahead and sit on this one as it'll come out to the 25. The Panthers coming back out onto the field for their second drive. And Charles, nothing like squaring off with a division opponent, a division rival in week one. Do you like that they are matching up this early, or would you prefer a game like this be a few weeks down the road? I actually like the early matchup for a few reasons, Brandon. First of all, it allows you to all see that in the entire offseason and know, hey, right out of the gate, we're playing a division game. Second part is it spreads them out a little bit. If you just have them all bunched up at the end of the year, that's not as much fun watching teams try to survive that gauntlet when you do have injuries down the stretch. And last but not least, let's face it, we're TV people. What a great game to sell right out of the gate. Now here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. Ball start, offense. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. Ready. Here's Young. Throw left side complete. That's Brooks. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. That's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, short tackle. Third and long for Young. Looking underneath and finding Hubbard. And this will not get close to the first down marker as he's brought down at the 26. Five yards, not enough. And it'll be fourth down. Well, the good thing about covering any game I do with you is I know that there's no problem with rhythm. Now, what we're watching offensively, a little bit of a problem there. Yeah, punt on the first drive, looking at another one here. Just a little slow. And, you know, they, they were talking about a fast start, but that hasn't been the case. Yeah, and let's face it. Any team we cover always talks about a That's fast true. start. That's true. But it's not necessarily going to happen just because they say so and whether it's the script whether it's you know just what they're going through whether they're seeing different defenses they're gonna have to figure it out as this game moves on car gonna lead the saints up here first and 10 at the 31 yard line on play action they'll throw Throwing out right here, caught by Alave. And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. I think defensively, you're okay with that. Here in the first quarter, he's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where Every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. 
And he's going to be taken down. Plus, there's a penalty flag in the backfield. They may get 15 more on top of this. Okay, so roughing the pass. Imagine that's the last thing you want to see week one is your quarterback taking an unnecessary hit. I think you're exactly right about that. You hate it any week, but boy, are you on target. This is a unit that's depending on him to take them through 17 games, so you definitely can't let him get hurt right now. So now a fresh set of downs, first and 10 after roughing the passer. Delay of game, offense. Well, you got to think, Charles, that one's on the quarterback because everybody was up at the line of scrimmage. He just didn't call for the snap in time. Yeah, I think he needs a little bit better awareness out there because you got to know when the clock's in single digits and either snap it or get a timeout called if you have one. Now they need 15 yards on this series after the delay of game, first and 15. Play action. Now it's Carr. The throw here right sideline falls incomplete. Well, that's a defense coordinator's got to be happy with that result. They took away all options downfield and forced the incompletion. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Now Carr. They'll set up the screen now to Camara. And he'll be down at the 46. So they go from 146 to the other on a pickup of eight. That's a nice design there. But sometimes, though, you get so many blockers out ahead of you, they kind of slow you down and force you to adjust. You always appreciate guys trying to help you. But maybe one less there could have turned this into a bigger game. And they'll need the 39 here for a first. This is third down. Ten nothing the score after one on EA Sports.